Hi, so welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to create bar graphs on SPSS, assuming we have a between subjects design. So let's take a look at our data. So we have an independent categorical variable, which is treatment, and that is comprised of two levels. So we have treatment A and we have treatment B. We also have a continuous dependent variable, which I've called symptoms. So let's imagine that this is a score out of 10 that the person receives for some sort of symptom after they receive the treatment. And we have a categorical or nominal dependent variable as well. So this is whether a person has a diagnosis or not after receiving either treatment A or treatment B. So let's take a look at how to create a graph for these data. So we can go to graphs then to chart builder. So let's um, imagine first that we want to visualize how the symptoms differ between the two groups, between treatment A and treatment B. So I'm gonna to go to this menu here. Bar is already selected as the default. And then I'm just gonna transfer the simple bar graph up into this box, or you can just double click it. I'm then going to put my independent variable on the X axis. So I'll just drag it down there. And then I'll drag my dependent continuous variable to this count axis on the side here. If you want, you can also take this display error bars box. So when the window looks like this, just go to continue or just go to okay rather, and that will create the graph for you. Okay, so that's what it looks like at the moment. We can take a look at how to format the graph at the end of the video, but for the moment, I'll just show you how to create a couple of other types of graph. So if I go back to graphs again, and then chart builder. I'm just gonna reset this. Uh, let's just imagine that you're interested in how many people are in one group or another group. So we can use the same type of graph again. So we've got bar here. I'm just gonna move this up to here. And I'm just gonna drag, let's say we want to know how many people received a yes diagnosis or a no diagnosis. So how many people have a diagnosis or how many people don't have a diagnosis. I'm just gonna transfer that to the X axis box and then literally just go to OK. And we can see here that 10 people have a diagnosis and 10 people don't have a diagnosis. But what if we want to know how many people have a diagnosis or don't have a diagnosis within each one of the treatment groups? So let's take a look at how to create that type of graph. So again, same thing, up to graphs, then down to chart builder. I'm gonna reset this again. I've still got bar selected here, but this time I'm gonna choose this clustered bar graph option here. So you can either double click that or you can drag it up into the window. So in this case, I'm gonna transfer treatment again to the X axis box. And I'm gonna transfer diagnosis to the cluster on X set color box. And then I'll just click okay. And that creates a graph that looks like this. So we can see that in treatment A, there were more people who had a diagnosis compared to no diagnosis, and in treatment B, we can see the opposite pattern. So this graph, I think, looks okay as it is, but if you want to edit it, you can just double click on it. That'll open the chart editor. Then there are lots of things you can change. There are some things you probably don't need. For example, I would probably remove this and then just uh, create my own title in the file of my report. So I can just right click on that and go down to delete. Um, if I want to change the color of one of these bars or, um, so if I don't want these red bars, I can click on that once. And you can see that that selects all of these bars, but maybe I just want to change the color of the red ones. So I'm just gonna click on that again. And now just the red bars are selected. And then if I double click on the red bar, this properties window uh, pops open and I can go to bar options. I can do things like change, change the width of the bar. So if I click apply, I now have these nice skinny bars. Um, if you want to change the, the font to match the font that you're using in the report, that's quite easy to do. So just click on whichever element you want to change. And then you've got different types of font style up here. And you can also change the size up there as well. So that's pretty much it. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.